2022. What a year. FTX Terra Luna Celsius Three Arrows Capital, almost $2 billion wiped off crypto markets. Oh, and October was the biggest month ever in the biggest year ever for hacks. If you've lost some faith in crypto over the last 12 months, who could blame you? And you're not alone. I think everybody agrees that this sets back the industry a good couple of years in terms of our reputation, the, 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 the efforts we put in, and trust was damaged, if not lost. When you have those huge firms uh, that blow up, it leaves a mark and it ripples through the space for a long time. But January is just around the corner and it brings with it the potential for change and hope. And every cloud has a silver lining, right? It's a setback and that's part of the maturing process of going through booms and busts and ultimately fluctuating like any other asset class, which is a, which is a good thing. What I think is ultimately true here is that, you know, crypto is an incredible stack. And, uh, and that includes all sorts of you know, it, it potential use cases. I think it's absolutely time to move beyond the hype and to focus on the technology and on its use cases. As we've been discussing over the last few weeks, crypto's problems right now don't come from tech. They come from people. Greed and deception are what brought down FTX, and we need to figure out where else those things still exist and how we want to take this sector forwards. The problem is there's warnings from people like Marique that there are more examples of too much power being concentrated in the hands of too few. With Twitter, you know, there is basically one person who's in charge and what is that person going to decide to do with, you know, our, our content and our information? And I think if you think of that, that's the promises of Web3. And so Web3 should be there to actually prevent things like that. So as we look to the future from 2023 onwards, Let's consider some solutions. And honestly, why not even look at some of the most radical of ideas? If we go back to the premises of actually Web3 and what it is really for, uh, decentralization, transparency, and actually trusting code and not humans, the best alternative would actually be to get rid of humans altogether and to only have to actually trust code. Okay, so we're probably not gonna be able to do that, but Issues with human bias do raise important questions over governance and transparency, and we'll see what next year brings on that front from the SEC and the rest of them. There are other things, though, happening in this space, and it's vital that we don't overlook them. Shifting our focus to investing in real use cases for blockchain technology could ultimately prove to be the real key for turning things around for Web3. There are already plenty of examples of this. They include everything from getting cash to people caught up in the war in Ukraine, to South Korea's blockchain-based driving license, or Estonia's KSI blockchain, which is keeping government data safe. What we could well be witnessing now is a real shift, similar to the one that we saw in the wake of the dot-com bubble bursting. We saw a lot of projects failing back then, but we also saw the start of Web2 projects beginning to mature. A lot will be washed out, but the technology made so many progresses and therefore a lot has been already achieved. And because a lot, you know, will be washed out and we can start again from, from stronger bases, then yes, probably the Amazon of this world and the Facebook of Web3 will be born during that time. As we take things forward into the new Web3 world, Marik is one of those who is adamant that the technology will continue to go from strength to strength. In DeFi, the weaknesses are if the code is not good, then the solution is not good. If there is a security hole, then the solution is not good. So it's also not like, you know, thousand time bulletproof, but it is something that indeed is not prone to human biases and, and human mistakes. So I think we're going to probably see a continuous, you know, strengthening of the DeFi industry. Remember, this technology began with the promise of transparency and failure shouldn't stop people from moving forwards with it but getting back to blockchain's roots could well be the most important step that crypto takes next. It has been a momentous 12 months for the crypto sector and we at Forecast have been trying our best to cover everything that's been going on. If you like any of the content we've been putting out, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. It means a lot to us to be a part of these conversations and we really wanna hear your thoughts as well in the comments or on social media.